Hello and welcome. I'm going to show you how I made this thing in a minute, but more importantly, I want to show you how I dried it. When I started, it had the outside was 24% moisture and the inside was 34% moisture. That was after I rough turned it on day one. So then I dried it with my secret humdinger method. And the next day, it was 1% on the outside and 9% on the inside. Now, I'm not going to tell you how I done it because I'm going to make you watch the video. So, we're going to uh, you know, turn this bowl. It was, it was, in fact, it was a challenge itself. It was a lot more punky than I thought it was. But I got there, and I think you're going to find this. You know what you're going to say? You're going to say, well, why didn't I think of that? Let's get on with well, it. I'm going to do something a little different today. I'm going to do a twice turn bowl, but I'm going to do it within 18 hours of each other. Normally when you turn the green wood, or a lot of people do, I don't because I'm too impatient. They, they turn whatever they're going to turn uh, a bowl and they leave it about you know, an inch thick and then they put it in a paper bag with shavings and come back to it in about six months. Well, I don't have the patience to do that. And I've tried lots of different ways to dry it, and some work and some don't. Uh, generally, I just turn it to my, whatever I want to turn it to, and start, you know, using it or whatever. And sometimes they crack, and sometimes they work, and sometimes they don't. But I think I've come up with a way, and you're going to see it later, I'm not going to tell you right now, to dry these in less than 18 hours, totally. And... Uh, and get on with it. So I'm gonna turn this, this is a honey locust. I'm gonna turn this bowl 11 inches and I'm gonna lay the walls about an inch thick with a tenon on it. It's gonna be a natural edge bowl. Uh, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna dry it in my new method I use and tomorrow I'll take it out and we'll check it and see where we are. Now this is, uh, this is pretty wet. I'll check it real quick right here. Okay, it's 16 right there, so let's go through the end, which is really where you get your, all right. I actually had 59, well, actually it went down to 40. It's, 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 let's go do it again here. All right, I'm going to hit a hole right there. Okay, I got 35% moisture right here now. Okay, now this... It's the two pin blanks that I did. This was just left over from when I cut these and then they're all out of the same log. And I, I checked them yesterday before I put them in, in my new drying device and they were 35%. And right now, and this is today, I, I can't even get them to register no matter what I do. No matter how hard I press them. Okay, there we go. I got 1%. I got it, it jumped up to 2.7. 2 and you really got to press hard to get it to do that. I'm going to try to press hard and hit hold. Oh, I can't do it. Try it again right here. Now I can't get it registered no more. Let's try it. This looks a little softer right there. Okay. Nope. There you go. It went to wasn't fast enough. Anyway, jumped up to 2.7. That's as much as it got. And it was 35 yesterday. So, worked fine on this. Now, how it's going to work on a big bowl, I don't know. But we're going to find out. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn this, put it in my drying device, and uh, I'm going to leave it, like I said, leave it, leave it thick. I'm not going to put any sealer or no nothing on it. And now I've already been over to the Forester, over to the drill press, and turn me a flat with a four inch Forester bit. And right here is where I just did it. I thought that was interesting. Turn this dang thing back on. And right in there, and that's where I cut down, okay, right there, 39%. Now that's, that'll be interesting. So that's what we're going to do, guys. So let me get this uh, face plate on with some extra long screws because I did, I did find a little punkiness right in here. 
and this is going to be grossly out of balance. I'm going to go ahead and get to the uh, end rounded here. Get her down to my maximum 11 inches here. Just for grins, I think for that big old chunk come flying off at a thousand RPM, that could smart. I think I need to come down below that anyway. Just a little safety precaution there, my friends. wet so I guarantee you it will shrink so you need to put this on pretty tight and you, you need to check it pretty often because it's going to compress it. I'll put this in until I know my tendon is going to hold in hold up and I'll take it out that's more than an inch isn't it more than, I don't know if I can get in here to do this or not yeah I think so Leave most of the center in until I get to where I want to go. Uh, I guess I'm going to move it. spinning very fast and it really it makes it harder to do anything. The center is not spinning fast at all. If it's, that, if it's a thousand, the center, dead center is probably spinning almost nothing. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pop me a hole in there. that 
fix now. Meet you when? In a little while. And you say, what is that? Well, that's a dehydrator. Use it for making jerky and drying meat and drying vegetables, whatever you want to do. And what's the purpose of this? To take moisture out of something. And there's all kinds of smells in it, so I don't think wood's going to hurt it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and test this right now. So I'm going to put it in here. It's going to be in here for like 12 hours. Just like that. It's all there is to it. And I'm going to put it on right there. 10 hours. We'll be back tomorrow and we'll test it. 24 to 35, right? <clears throat> okay. 24 to 35. Put that right there. There's a piece of paper. It was uh, 24 on the inside and 30, say 4 on the outside. Alright. <clears throat> we'll see you tomorrow. That's it, guys. I'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning. It'll be the next morning now. Well, we're getting ready to have a unveil, reveal, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I have not looked at it. I didn't do no sneak preview or nothing, but looking through the glass, I can see it looks like it's a lighter color. So that's uh, that's going to be interesting. It, uh, it was at 165 degrees for 10 hours last night. And I, you know what? I made a mistake. I should have weighed it first and then weighed it after. But I didn't. But I will the next time I do one. Uh, so we had 24% moisture on the inside and 34 on the outside. Are you red eye? Ta -da. Let's see. See if it falls apart. No. Well, it doesn't feel very heavy. Uh, pretty light, but. Let's fire up this meter here. And I left it out here. All right. Let's go to the inside first. I'll try to get about the same spot I had before. I got 9%, guys, on the inside. That's down from 24. This finds a spot right here. This is a sort of punky at our sink in a little good in here. And I can't get that damn thing to read. Mm, nope, won't even read there. That's a good sign. I guess the inside would be better than the outside. Let's do it down here at the bottom. I still can't get it to read. There you go, 1%. Woo! You know, probably wouldn't hurt for it to be on there a little longer because the inside's 9% and the outside's 1%. But I think I made my point. Uh, you know, I just may be on to something here, guys. I, I don't see any cracks. You know, I really won't know how bad it's warped until I get it on the lathe, but we'll do that in a minute. Looks like maybe it opened up a little more right in here. But those are easily fixed. You know what, this is honey locust, and when it's dry, it's like concrete, so I'm not really looking forward to finishing turning this. Uh, no more what it's doing on this, I might, on my next one, just turn it all the way and then dry it and see what happens. We like to open up a little bit in a couple places, but it looks good. Hey, look, this is a, it's a dehydrator. I bought it on Amazon. I don't remember what I paid for it, but I got it on Amazon last night. And I looked at it, and you can get one uh, that looks just like it, that's 14 inches across for $79. Uh, you have to have this type, the type that, that stacks, you know, their trays, and they got a mesh in each one, so it wouldn't work. Because you've got to be able to take these trays out and, you know, have an opening here. Uh, but, you know, proof is in the pudding, and there it is, my friends, and there it is. So let's go on to the lathe and see what we got. See how bad this that sucker wobbles. See how many tools I can go. Alright, see you when I get done. Get over here a little, I'll get over here a little closer. I'll give you guys a little better look at it. 
I think it's going to be a pretty bowl. See here, here's what I was talking about. See this opened up right in here. A little bit right in there where that crack was. You can see this is higher than this. So you can see it did that. Uh, all this really looks good. Now you, the inside, you can see the inside's a little darker color. That tells you that it's got a little more moisture in it. But I don't think it's much and I'm going to be cutting from this way out. The outside is virtually done with the exception of a little bit of, you know, fixing and and stuff like that and smoothing and sanding. But the inside's going to be cut down. Let's see. I, I tried to get that about an inch, so I'm going to have to take about three quarters to seven eighths out of it. Something like that. But that's what we'll do. Let's get on with it. Alright, it's on a lathe that's, you know, right on, on the same tenon and everything. Uh, we do have a little warpage. Means I'm going to have to work on the outside just a little. See there? But it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. And the fact that there's no cracks in it other than opening up a little bit, which I'm getting, I'm going to fix that before I start turning it. I can live with that, guys. Once I get that outside straightened up and tackle the inside, we're going to be in good shape. All right. <clears throat> We use uh, Star Bond Thin. Uh, I use a lot of it. Star Bond, take note. I like it, it works just fine. I don't know if I like that color or not. It probably won't really matter in the scheme of things. But what you want to do, in case I've never told anybody how to do this properly, you know, properly is my definition. It may not be somebody else's. Well, yeah, sorry about the interruption, but I I decided to just go ahead and get a new cap and put on this. You know, I don't practice what I preach, and I should. Every time you use this, you, you ought to have your paper towel handy and wipe it off immediately before it sets up because it gets in the cap and then it screws it all up. Anyway, I'm getting on with it. See, I got a couple of punky spots in here. Uh, you know, like, can you see? I think you can see that one right there. Okay, what I, what I see a lot of people do is they clean them out. And see, I don't do that because, you know, I, I want that to be part of the bowls. What I do is I saturate them first with CA glue, and then I put whatever filler I want on them. Uh, this one looks like I already did that, but I'm going to add a little bit more just to make sure. Can't emphasize enough that you really got to do this in layers if it's deep. We're going to cut some of this off. Ooh, that's a nasty one, isn't it? Don't even look like I put ECA on it yet. All right, I'm going to finish that because I need to look inside. And we both can't look at the same time. All right, I'm getting ready. I'm all armored up here. I'm going to start off right in here. I and mean, I'm just I'm going to use a round cutter. Come in here like this right here. Try to picture where you guys can see so I don't get in the way. I'm going to move you over here a little bit more. <sighs> Seems like I can't keep my shoulders out of the way. That might work a little better. So I've got a face here. two or three more times and we'll see if we can't get some kind of shine on it. I'm not going to totally finish it until I get done from the inside because I just almost always have to do it again so no sense in doing it again is it? So give that a little while and I could drive with a heat gun. Quite frankly I'm tired of standing for a while. All right, I'm getting ready to turn the inside of this and to tell you the truth, I'm not looking too forward to it because I know it's as hard as a rock. Uh, I guess I picked the wood for this drying exercise. It, it's hard as a rock. So first thing you want to do, and you always want to do this even if you think you don't need to, is come in here and check your chuck because wood compresses. This one's really nice and tight. This wood's already dry, so it shouldn't compress much. But if you are 
turning green to it, I guarantee you that will compress and you put it back on or do something with it and it'll be loose as all get out and that's the reason. Well, I've got it sanded down in about three, maybe four coats of uh, Minwax sanding sealer on it. And I've already smeared some axe paste on it. I didn't much fear you guys care anything about watching me smear. So uh, I'm getting ready to whirl it up a little bit now and see if I can't get some sort of shine. Uh, I'm hopeful I can get a little bit more shine on the inside. It was, it was really rough in there. Uh, this, this piece of wood was a lot more punky than I thought. But I'm going to start off, I'm using a uh, a green scotch pad and you know it's pretty well saturated with axe paste. I've used it several times. It uh, seems to work pretty good and, and then you come back with some paper towel to do your final buffing. A little hard out here on these edges because when it whirls around you hit the wind and it wants to bounce on you. But that's the way it goes sometimes. Actually, it does pretty good without even, you know, going real fast. See, it's already, see, it's already getting a shine right here. And that's just doing this right here. That's good. Let's take a gander at it. Ooh, Betsy. Oh, wow, that looks nice. No dull spots. The inside even looks decent. Shoot, let's put some wax on this rascal and do it again. And it will flip around. And about five and a half. There. Reckon I ought to quit while I'm ahead, don't you? All right, let's take this nub off and do my respirator here. Okay, we're going to go. All right, it's burning. The only difference between here and where I had it in the other room is I had it exhaust out a window in the other room, and the air is not so you, you smell wood burning, but no more than I do. I don't figure it bother me. If it does, I'll do something about it. I have to start opening that door a little bit. There you are. It'll be. It'll take a while. All right, it's done. Let me release the carriage here. All right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and buff the bottom of this up. I, I got it all 
you know, a couple of coats of sealer on it. I'm going to go ahead and touch these edges that you, you really couldn't get very much, you know, when it's rotating because there's a lot of air. Anyway, I put, I've already put a little axe paste on it, and uh, talking about axe paste, I mean, you guys do realize that they have a channel, and uh, they don't have very many subscribers right now, so we need to support them. You know, they're, they're beginners, but, you know, everybody started as a beginner, so let's give them some support and some encouragement here because they, they are making a fine product, and we all enjoy it, and that's what we are to do, my friends. I figure out how to use this lathe. Let's start off with a little slow right here. Well, you can stick a fork in that puppy. I'm calling it done. So let's go in there where the dehydrator is and talk about it a little bit. Okay, well, we're in my little kitchen here. This is uh, something I added on a bunch of years ago. I mean, I, I've been living here for almost 33 years, so, you know, added here and added there before you know what you got more than you need. Anyway, I cook stuff out here that my wife don't want to cook in the house, you know, like fish and stuff like that, stuff that stinks the house up. So anyway, here it is. It's done, but you know, this video really wasn't about making this bowl as it was about drying this bowl. So I used this dehydrator right here. I looked it up and of course this was a little more expensive because it has the stainless steel trays. But you can get them, you know, with the plastic trays and stuff for about 80 bucks. Uh, I cooked this thing, I guess that's the right word. For, uh, actually it was under dehydration for 8 hours at 165 degrees. Now the one problem I had, and I don't know if it's a problem or not because it's certainly acceptable. The inside ended up only being 9 degrees, but it went from 9%, sorry, 9%, uh, but it went from 34% moisture. Now the outside went from 24% moisture to 1%. Uh, reason for that is when I, when I set it in here, I set it in here like this. So the airflow doesn't get on the inside of the bowl like it does on the outside. So, well, that may not work, but I'm going to try to figure out either next time, you know, either how to prop it up or do something so more air gets inside. Uh, but it, even at that, I could just, you know, it's programmable. And I could make it, I could make it cook for 12 hours if I wanted to. Uh, but, you know, without a single doubt, it works. Uh, this is, okay, day four yesterday, this was soaking wet with, you know, between 24 and 34 percent moisture and heavy. Now it's light. I wish I'd have waited. I will do the next one. But there it is. I'm going to take some stills. I'm going to come over here and give you a little better picture. I wish the light was better in here, but it's not. It's turned out good. It's, you know, honey locust. A little thicker than I wanted, but it was a lot more punky than I thought, too. And right around here, where we go, right in this area, right in here, uh, I think if I'd have got much thinner, I think it would have blown out. But I'm still all right. I'm a half inch. I mean, it's fine. It ain't going nowhere. Uh, and it sat on the lathe out here all night last night, and there's no, no, nothing visible. So you know, it works. I don't know why somebody hadn't thought about it before, but I'm definitely going that route from henceforth and thereafter. May even someday break down and buy a bigger one. Uh, this this one does 11 inches, but I saw one on there that's 14 inches, so that would really work good, wouldn't it? Okay, subscribe, call your friends, share it, do all that kind of good stuff. Help me out, you know, and you know what? Call your mama.